Y'all don't know this, but this took eight tries. So, I'm not in the best mood, but I'm not going to complain about it. We're just going to get it cracking. We just got to keep going. We got to go with the flow. Keep on going. But, I read this title. I was like, you know what? This stuff I like to talk about. So, we here right now. You two, what's going on? Welcome to AB Academy, my unscripted channel. On this channel, I'm basically just putting y'all down on anything I know, anything I learn, anything I can provide value with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, tell you the reason I'm starting this. Some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not. I'm a YouTuber with a good amount of subscribers. Yeah, a good amount. Uh -huh. If y'all don't know, make sure y'all check Try out my channel. Try to be humble with it. Beat, I feel it, though. Avery, all of that. The reason I'm making this, bro, I was just in Miami a couple of days ago, and it hit different, like, I'm used to people coming up to me at this point, but the thing that throw me off sometimes is what they talk about. Like, I'm a YouTuber. You don't, you wouldn't expect somebody to come up to you and be like, bro, you changing my life. Like, you, you helped me do this. Like, you helped me do that. One of my friends that I knew for a long time, he came to me on the strip. And the topic on which he brought up was crazy. He came to me. He said, bro, he, he ain't say congratulations on your success. Congratulations on your new cars. Congratulations on your house. He said, bro, do you still script? Do you still write down your goals? He, I was like, yeah, bro, I read them every morning. He said, bro, that's, he looked at his friends like shocked. He said, bro, that's fucking crazy, bro. I told y'all. And like, he said, like, bro, it was just different. Like, it kind of gave me chills. Before that, another person came to me on the beach and said, bro, you helping people. You changing lives, bro. Keep going. So I just feel like I got to make this channel just to. That's a good feeling I have, bro. Just to express my feelings and try to put y'all boys on the most game. Try to teach y'all the shit that I learned. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to gatekeep what I learned. I don't want to gatekeep the energy. I don't want to gatekeep the vibrations that a nigga know. You feel me? So, if y'all interested in that, man, make sure y'all leave a like on this so it can spread to people just like you. Make sure you subscribe. And don't just leave a like just for this channel, bro. Leave a like just so you can get positive shit in your ear, man. You feel me? I'm a positive nigga. You know what I'm saying? So positivity attracts positivity you feel mm -hmm. me and if you if you never heard me talk about this and you know me on youtube this is gonna be a shock bro but let me show y'all something real quick as you can see all of these bro is like my journals throughout the years bro i'm gonna tell y'all the good the bad the ugly i'm gonna tell y'all everything on bro hey same on this end bro and you watching this hope y'all got some journals too journaling is one of the it's like the secret sauce, the secret ingredient you need to get to your destination. I'm telling you, he gonna talk about it. I'm sure. Well, not I'm sure. I know he's gonna talk about it. This channel, bro, is unscripted. It's uncut. Everything I literally, bro, we not cutting this motherfucking camera, bro. Unless I gotta show y'all or include a clip. So we gonna um go to this journal right here, bro. This is my first ever journal. This title of this video is How Reading My Goals Made Me Rich. If you've seen that title, you click, you like that title. So it's no cap. I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you how you could do it and all of that. So let me give y'all a rundown. So all of my journals is here except for two journals. And I'm going to tell you exactly why these two journals are not here. The, all these journals right here, bro, I remember the time I got them. I remember where I got them. I'm pissed off too. Like, it's not It's not supposed to be this many journals. Don't, don't look at me as a nigga who got it all figured out, bro. I'm not a nigga who got it all figured out. I'm not gonna come in this bitch and cap to you like mm. I know all the answers in life. I'm 24 years old, bro, and I'm getting better. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I did not know he was, uh, I didn't know he was 24. I thought he was 22 or 23. But, yeah, he definitely got a good head on his shoulders, So, bro. eventually, I'm gonna have them motherfucking answers, but right now, I don't got all the answers, bro, and I'm transparent enough to tell y'all that, you feel me? So, learn from me, learn from my mistakes, learn from my good shit that I've been doing. And yeah, man, make sure y'all, this shit crazy though, cause like, I'm talking to y'all like, I, you feel me? Fuck it. But I'm gonna tell y'all exactly why them two journals not here. So one journal, bro, it was a green notebook, man. I remember when I got it. And once I got it, I was living with my mama when I got it. When I got it, I um, watched this video to write down 300 things that you want out of life, right? So I was writing down all the 300 things that I wanted out of life. I never did that before. Y'all let me know if y'all done that before, how it worked out for you. I should do that. Yeah, we should all do that together. That's something. That's dope. That's a good, that's, that's, that's dope. One thing I didn't have, like, I know I got, it may seem like we got a lot of journals. I have, I actually have one more journal that's not here. I don't know where it is, and I hope, 
it didn't get thrown away, but it was, uh, I didn't fill it up, but it was, like, it was a challenge I did to myself, which was, like, I'm going to write, I'm going to fill an entire notebook of things I love about myself. So, I was trying to see, okay, because it should be infinite things. I was, okay, let's, let's really see. So, I only got up to 18 pages, and I don't know where it is, bro. To this day, I really don't know where it is, but I wish I had it. And it's it's important to do that. I, I, I would, like, pretend like that was the journal I had. Like, I would sleep with this journal next to my bed. I would wake up, write down anything I had. I would reread this thing in the mirror. It would take me, like, 10 or 15 minutes every single day to reread, to read every single line I, ha I had. But I, I, I made it, like, my mission to do it. And you find, like, you start to love the process of journaling. It really does help you with a lot of stuff. I like and I'm mad that I don't got this journal today because I know that a lot of those things in them 300, I accomplished it. And I knew that shit feels so good to go through that journal and just cross them out like, damn, I did that, damn, I did that, damn, I did yeah, that. Yeah, full circle moment, yeah. But with this journal, bro, I was, I, I made a lot of bad decisions back then, bro. I was talking to this girl. I was talking to a lot of motherfucking girls, I ain't gonna lie. I was talking to this girl, bro. You know what I'm saying? Her energy probably wasn't the best for me at the time. And she fuck around and got my book and read my whole motherfucking book, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, invasion of privacy like a motherfucker, ain't it? Yeah, so she read my whole book, bro. And I ain't even know she read the whole book until, like, one day we was, like, low-key going back and forth. She was like, yeah, and I read your 300 things you want. I said, what the fuck? I couldn't even say nothing no more. That shit was crazy. But in that book, bro, I literally, when I was living with my mom, bro, I literally wrote down 300 of the most top things that I wanted out of life. And I know right now I got a lot of them things, bro. So I be thinking about that shit a lot. But never, never mind that. And yeah, other that's a good feeling to have, man. I'm gonna get to that level one day. And everybody watching this, whatever coach I got, I gonna get to that level two. The book that I wish was here. Oh, somebody in my doorbell. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> bad job. I just, <laughs> I was just, I was just looking at the app. I got an app for like when people come to my door and ring my doorbell. Somebody was selling lawn sort of services and shit. So shout out to him. I'm gonna really rock with him because I don't be having time to come on grass. But anyways, I think I left off on um on why my other book not here. Y'all heard about the first book with 300 rules, the 300 things I wanted. My other book. Unfortunately, bro, I don't got the other book. But I made a video about that book like two years ago. I'm gonna give y'all a snippet right here. It's laid back and it's gonna work, bro. You gotta believe it. You gotta work for it, bro. So it's Monday, July the 6th. I'm basically just gonna read y'all what I put. I said, today I'm extremely thankful to wake up with so much support on YouTube. My tons of subscribers motivate me to keep posting quality content and their support makes it all worth it. I'm thankful that YouTube is my full-time job and I'm grossing the most income that I ever had Reaching 100,000 subscribers feels so amazing, and my journey will continue. Hey, look at that. He got more than that, too. That's just a full circle moment, I'm sure. And that's all he doing. He just he just affirming what he wants in his life, bro. Like, that ass, bro. I'm going to show you something. So, on one of these books, right? This one right here. You're probably like, what is this picture on it? So, like, what I'll do is I have... This is Dubai. Um, this is one of the places I want to visit. So, I have it on my journal, and I look at it every day. And I call this my... This, this journal was, uh, I call this my blueprint of success. Uh, in it, I have, like, books I read, um, affirmations I have. And I'll show y'all some of the affirmations I had, too. So, let's see, where is it? Right here. So, hopefully y'all can see this. But, yeah, this is just the affirmations I had. And, um, it was spiritual, financial, emotional, physical affirmations, like, I said, I'm grateful to have created 5 million jobs across the globe. I'm thankful that I no longer have dissecting cellulitis and HS, which is just my illness I got. Uh, I'm grateful for a massive, such a massive supportive community following of over 100,000 people. I'm thankful for creating my own companies. I'm very handsome because you got to tell yourself how sexy you are every day. And I was like, I'm thankful for the unique people I will meet. Uh, I'm thankful for my bro and my mama got their own business. Uh, I'm thankful for growing a close relationship with god i've read over a thousand books my car is my new car is always well managed powerful figures revere me i still meditate uh, i'm nowhere near my full potential like i travel the world often like these are the things i would say and i have it in this book and um like i will i will write down 
I'll write podcast notes in here. Uh, anything that was on my mind, I write in here. So you could use a journal for anything. It doesn't have to just be writing. This book right here, I use this to like, let me see, show you something. So every day, I just journal what I was thinking about through the day. Um, and yeah, it doesn't have to be nothing crazy. Just what's that was in your mind. And I, I, just, I just got like a whole book, like pages of just, of just, of just writing stuff in here every single day. You know what I'm saying? So you should get on it too. But yeah, let's keep it going. Peep this. I'm going to stop it right there. I had 2,000 subscribers. No, I had more than that. I probably had like 4,000 subscribers. 4,000 subscribers working a full-time job 50 hours a week. So, but I'm writing, I'm writing thinking in my head like, ooh, this feels so good to reach 100,000 subscribers. Ooh, it feels so good to have this be my full-time job. Oh, it feels so good to make the most money I ever made. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Mind you, none of this happened in the physical yet. Yet. All of it is in the mental, you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Guys, the best way to make money online in 2024 using your phone is not e-commerce, it's not drop shipping, it's not Amazon or affiliate marketing. It's none of those business models you see gurus preaching about all day long. It's by actually using your phone for what it's meant for. That's powerful, man. Visualization is powerful, man. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, bro. Make sure. All right, baby, good. So basically, as you can see, man, me writing and reading my goals, bro, it made me successful. And I'm about to teach y'all the exact way on how you can do it, too. But before I do that, I want to really, like, put y'all down on this right here. So, as y'all can see, man, somebody can try to screenshot this shit and look at it. You don't, you ain't got to, bro. I'm about to read it for you, feel me? So, brief history on this, bro. I was in college in 2019. And this was the first ever book that I ever got to write my shit out. You feel me? To write my goals, to write how I'm feeling. And the reason why I did this, bro, my college coach at the time, man, I was in college for wrestling, had a wrestling scholarship. Did not want to go to college at all, but y'all yeah, gonna hear more about that the more you watch this. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, so you can see the next videos. Really ain't want to do that shit, but the one thing that I got, I, I believe that everything happened for a reason, you feel me? And I did not want to go to this school. I did not want to go to school at all. But I had faith that something good was going to come out of school, bro. And the one good thing that came out of school, I had a college coach that believed in manifesting and believed in just good energy, bro. You feel me? I had texted him. He had to, he had, ago too, he had to meet that I, coach. I just told him, thank you, bro. You know what I'm saying? We had a couple words and things of that nature. But the one good thing that came out of it was the first day of practice, he sat everybody down. We ain't do no mat work. We ain't do no wrestling. We ain't do no drills. We ain't even do no stretching. The first day of practice, bro, he sat everybody down and he said, everybody go buy a notebook. I'm like, nigga, what? Like, no <laughs> bullshit. Like, in my mind, I'm like, bro, what is you talking about, bro? Fuck all that. He told everybody to go buy a notebook, bro. And once we bought a notebook, we just basically had assignments on how every day we got a journal, how we feel and shit like that. You feel me? So, in this journal, was January 19th, 2019. Mind you, it is 2024 right now. You feel me? So, that just gives you the fucking mindset of how... I was thinking back then. I was not thinking of this, bro. So I wrote today. I decided to go by this journal. Something I had in mind for a couple of days. As you can see, it's something I had in mind for a couple of days. When he said it, I ain't even do it. I'm like, bro, what, bro? So fast forward, I start getting a groove. This shit started feeling good. Mm -hmm. So I started talking about YouTube, bro. I said, I started taking my YouTube career series. I see myself doing big things on this platform. Famous success is not mandatory for me. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't want it. I know when I blow up, nothing about me will change. I'm currently at 449 subscribers. By the end of February, I hope I can hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone. You feel me? So I'm talking about YouTube. I put a YouTube play button right there and stuff like that. So as you can see, bro. That's raw, but that's what's up, man. And you got to, I'm telling you, you got to see it for yourself before other people can see it. And you got to see it for yourself before it happens. And it all starts internally. You got to really feel Feel it and visualize yourself achieving those things you want, and it's gonna happen. That's I just why I already know we gonna hit a hundred k. We gonna hit a million. Like I'm, I already know we gonna hit it. So it's like, right. And then you just gotta, your actions is gonna follow who you see yourself being naturally. In the series, man, I started being more serious, more intentional about it, and it felt good. Fast forward to now, bro, and everything that a nigga been saying in these books is coming into fruition. 
Okay, cool. Now that's a backstory on who I am and why I made this title and why I made this video. Let me tell you how you can do the same shit. So, let me tell you why it happens too. So, it's a theory, bro, called the red car theory. You get a phone call, you're going to have to wait real quick. It's a theory called the red car theory. I'm about to break down to y'all what manifestation is because some of y'all probably don't believe it. It's a theory called the red car theory. If I was to ask you right now, hey, bro, how many red cars did you see today? You would probably be like, shit, nigga, I don't know. I don't know how many red cars I've seen today. But in the beginning of the day, if I told you for every red car you see, I'm going to give you a dollar. Mm -hmm. When you go outside, you're going to be looking for every red car. So when I ask you at the end of the day how many red cars you've seen, you're going to tell me exactly how many red cars you've seen, right? Okay, cool. So writing down your goals is kind of like the red car theory, bro. It's really like uh, writing down your goals is like a GPS. Like, like imagine you in a car... And y'all just going, you in the car with people, you just y'all just going, y'all just going somewhere. Y'all don't even know where y'all going, y'all just in the car driving. It's like, where y'all even expect ourselves to be? Where do you expect, like, where are you going? You know what I'm saying? Your goals is the GPS to where you want to get to. And in order for you to get to that place, you got to have a vision of where you want to be and where you see yourself being. That's all it is. When you think about something, it manifests into your life. Those red cars were there the whole time. But until it was on your conscious mind, on your subconscious mind, you ain't see them motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? So, writing down your goals, bro, is... A lot of people don't got goals in life, bro, and that's crazy. Writing down your goals is like the basic principle to become successful, in my opinion. Writing down your goals is kind of like giving yourself a direction. It's kind of like... If you... Imagine if I told you to go to the store that you never heard of before, and I don't give you directions, you're going to end up in a whole nother place. Writing down your goals is kind of like putting a GPS on in your car. You feel me? So the red car theory is basically replace the red car with your goals. Think about your goals every day, and then you're going to start to notice that every day you get closer and closer to the motherfuckers, or every day you figure out something that provides you to go closer to those, right? So let me tell y'all some shit I do, right? I'm about to put y'all down. Every morning, every morning, I ain't gonna show y'all these right here, bro, because these like really, really new. You feel me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it up still. Every morning, I got these. It's a list of goals. You feel me? Every morning, I wake up, I pray, and I read these goals. You feel me? And reading these goals is kind of like the red card theory. Remember yeah. when you focus on something, you go get that. Yeah. So. Everything I say on here, it just puts into my mind and gives me direction mm -hmm. on what to do, how to do it, when to do it, where to do it. That makes sense. Of course, yep. Remember the book. Remember the book. Like, even this picture right here, like, I have so many pictures around this apartment of places I want to be. I got a picture of Jamaica on the front door every time I leave the house. I see it. Like, I got, even on the back of my phone, I, uh... Afro Panamanian, but I never been to Panama. How crazy is that? So it's just a reminder of like where I want to, I want to visit. So I, I, I see it on my phone every day. Like you got to just surround yourself in the future. You like surround yourself in the the world that you want to be in in the future. Experience it in the present, and then you are gonna get it. So as you can see from what I told y'all earlier. Let me get the book. Mind you, it's like thirty of these motherfucking books, bro. And that's another thing. I wish I ain't had so many. It's too fucking many. I wish everything was in one place because if it was in one place, I wouldn't have did that bonehead ass shit that I did when the girl read my shit. You feel me? So I definitely got to get better with that. That's something that I learned from, a mistake that I learned from. I'm definitely going to get better on. But in making this and in, in bringing it to the conscious of hitting a thousand subscribers and fuck around, let me see, goddamn famous success is not mandatory, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't want it. When I blow up, I know nothing about me a change. God damn, let me skip forward. I'm about to show y'all some crazy shit now. It feels amazing to be riding in a 2020 Corvette with red. That's funny because he got that too. Red interior. Shit like that, bro. You know what I mean? If y'all don't know that shit, it's true. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm pop up a picture or something. But fuck a picture. We're going You feel me? I talk about living in a house, bro. I love houses. I'm really not an apartment type of guy. Mind you, bro, when I'm writing this, bro, like, I'm in college, too. Y'all know about that college life. Hold on. So as you can see from what I just said, 
I was thankful to be riding in the car that I didn't have at the time with the exact seats that's in this one that I didn't even have at the time, bro. So I really think that writing that shit down, it was like the red car theory, bro. You feel me? Like, just putting it into your... Time you got the red interior. Like the atmosphere into the air, and then you got it, bro. Blind if I said all you gotta do is write that shit down and it's gonna come true. That shit not, that's no nigga. You gonna have to really work for that shit too. You feel me? So don't just think that you gonna write some shit down and the shit gonna happen. It don't work like that. You're a fool if you think that shit gonna happen like that, man. So you gotta make sure you give some equal and opposite action in your claims. You feel me? But yeah, this is my first video on this channel. Basically putting y'all boys on game that I wish I knew when I was, you know what I'm saying, doing shit. So. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed the transparency, I'm going to become more transparent the more and more I do this shit. But it's literally just the episode one. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make two, three, four, five, six, all the way to whenever. You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I ain't going to lie. Um, I'm going to leave y'all boys with homework every time we do this. You know what I'm saying? Just to make this shit interactive on this channel. You feel me? Also, if you want to continue and continue to get better because, like I told y'all, I'm not nowhere near where I'm supposed to be. But I'm working hard at it every day. If you that type of nigga, man, make sure you click the first link in the description, join AB Academy. But I'm about to give y'all some homework. And I'm going to do the homework with y'all, too. This ain't no shit where, like, like I told y'all, this ain't no shit where I got it all figured out. I don't. I bought 35 million notebooks, my nigga. And I'm about to go buy one more just for y'all. Because we breaking old habits, you feel me? And we are literally starting fresh. And we literally doing this shit the right way, you feel me? From everything that I learned, I'm about to put it on y'all. I'm about to do it on my end, I'm probably about to go buy a notebook, and I'm fucking, I'm gonna vlog it for y'all on this channel and show y'all, and shit, we're gonna start it together, y'all wanna continue this, make sure y'all come over to AB Academy, that's where we gonna talk about it a little more, but right here, I'm about to show y'all basically the beginning steps, so let's hit the stove real quick, let's get us a notebook, and let's start that motherfucker up, this starts today. Wherever, you, whenever you looking at this, or wherever you looking at this, today starts. To Facts, be. man. Get you a journal after watching this, man. Get you a journal, man. It's time to. One of my dogs. I was just talking to yesterday. I called him. I made. I uh, we was talk. We was chopping up. I was like, Yo, you still journaling? He was like, Yeah, I'm still journaling. I'm like, okay, cause I, cause I know how much it, it helps, bro. And he's like, He sees the benefits of it too. He just started really getting to the motion of doing it. So you gotta do the same thing. I'm telling you, man. It really hey, does help. When you go get you a notebook and writing that bitch every day. Write your goals, look at your goals, feed your mind positive shit, and yeah, I'm gonna be here for y'all when y'all do it. Let's go. Hi, we're Visible. We're the wireless company with nothing to hide. Seriously, hidden fees? But yeah, bro, I know I'm rambling, but the basic premise of this video is to just show y'all how, like, it's something in the power of writing. I don't know the exact knowledge, I don't know the exact nothing. I just know when I write stuff, bro, it just, it just makes it, makes it magnetic to a nigga, like, it attracts this shit, bro, you feel me, and the one thing that I just always, always, always wrote down. The reason why is because, like, so there's a difference between, like, typing and writing something, when you write something, you're a lot more intentional with it, versus when you type something, it's, it's, it requires a lot more work for you to actually write something out, versus for you just to type it, so you, it, it, you, you put more intention into it, more thought and energy behind it. And it becomes a lot more powerful than you just, you know what I'm saying, typing it out. That's why people say you should write poems. Some people say you should actually write, you know, like, a, like some. I remember one of my essay, one of my English teachers told me, you know, we should actually write down our, uh, our rough drafts. Even though I didn't do that. She's like, you should write down your rough drafts. Cause it's a, it's a, it's a, like he said, it's a magnetism to writing. Um, bro, was this car, my nigga, and it, it's kind of, it's kind of like ah, ah, ah. I, I could have did it so much more, bro. You know what I mean? And that just come with the game. But I'm happy because I know now. And like I said, I'm going to the um store right now to go get a notebook so I can really like be on this journey with y'all, man. Like I told y'all, come to AB Academy. I'm gonna probably make this. Ain't no probably, bro. I gotta stop saying probably too. Like I told, I'm not. I'm not where I wanna be. You feel me? And I'm yeah, gonna get. Nothing to your words have power too. Y'all gotta watch which, how, how y'all how talk to yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Because that really does. That, that manifests a lot too. 
where I want to be. So make sure y'all tune in. You know a lot of people like with channels like these, they they, they preach to y'all like they where they want to be. They probably not. I'm gonna let y'all niggas know I'm transparent as a motherfucker. I'm not where I want to be, but it's coming hey, soon. Same. Baby, you feel oh y'all niggas, know, hey, I, hey look, the community, I, hey look, they dreamers. I don't know if I want to call it. I still don't want to call it that. But look, we know whenever we want to be either. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna it's gonna be a, it's a process to this. You feel me? So. I, I hope y'all know I'm knowing it where I want to be. I think y'all know. I'm, I'm, I'm at a good spot. I'm happy. I'm thankful for where I am, bro. But I see this shit going a lot further, bro. That's so you should, bro. This notebook that I'm about to buy, bro, this is the last notebook that I'm going to buy until that motherfucker is filled page to page to page. And I hope y'all do the same. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all inspired. I hope y'all listening to this shit in the car going to get y'all a notebook, nigga. You feel me? To write down what you want to do. But you know, some G shit. I, gotta, uh, I ain't been journaling today. So after this video, I'm a journal. And you should too, my God. Or girl watching this. I'ma see y'all at the store. Um, yeah, I'ma add this shit to the AB Academy so everybody know what's going on. It's gonna be what month is it? In April, in April, monthly challenges. This is gonna be one of the challenges to journal every day. You know what I'm saying? Script your perfect life every day. Read your goals every day. You know what I'm saying? I seriously, a hundred percent, a thousand percent believe. That if you do that, you're going to get closer and closer, just like the red car theory suggests. When you put it on your mind, when you put it in your subconscious, you're going to find a way to get it, you feel me? So, y'all boys go get a journal real quick. Y'all girls go get a journal real quick. I'm going to see y'all when I'm at the store, so y'all can help me pick this journal out. All right, man, I just made it to the store. Let me give y'all the breakdown on the reasoning on why I made AB Academy. So, if y'all don't know, like, I really have a passion for this self-improvement shit. My guy, Devo, my cameraman, Devo, he asked me the other day, he was like, bro, what? Why you do this? Like, what keep you on the path of doing this? You've been doing this for a minute. And I tell him, like, growing up, I used to like playing video games. And I figured out that this life shit is really like a video game. You can level up your character as much as you can, you know what I'm saying? As fast as you can. Like, that shit is fun. So that's why I started this shit. It's really a passion project on my end. Investing yourself, that shit becomes, bro. Like, bro, when you invest in yourself, you're not going to want to drink you i mean look at least for me i want to drink no more i don't want to smoke no more because i'm literally high on life like i am my own intoxication i am my own drug my nigga when you put so much into yourself financially spiritually mentally emotionally physically you start to see your whole life change around you and it's like yo this is really working like me investing time into my soul me investing into my goals and my future self is really working and then it's like, it's a no-brainer for you to keep going because it's like, you already built the momentum. So it's like, why well, stop now? You feel me? And, and I really want to get y'all the game and the sauce on what I be learning in my life because I feel like I learn a lot of shit every day. Like, I'm into the books. I'm into all that shit. And I want to build a sense of, like, a community, bro, of like, people shit, with the same mindset because I know a lot of people in this world don't got that mind. So let's, um, let's pull up to the office section. Let's pull up to the office section and find a notebook. Yeah. Also, if you want to learn how to do YouTube, I got you too, bro, because I'm in public vlogging like a motherfucker. People probably like, what is what are you talking about? What is he doing? So, if y'all want to learn how to do be when I start doing that shit, I got to start vlogging in the public too. Man, make sure y'all tap in. About to give me a notebook right now. Let's do it. After looking for about 10 minutes, man, I came across this one. I fuck with this one. It's just like playing. See, this is what I be talking about, bro. $12 for a notebook, bro. I see, look. I see why niggas type. When I was... When I had this, and, uh, nigga, don't mind this. Nigga, I was eating some, I was eating some chicken. I think I don't, I know how black of me. But anyway though, this notebook right here, I don't have, I don't have the, the like this notebook right here, like how nice it is and all this stuff. This was probably like, this was, this was probably like more than a Chipotle burrito bowl, my nigga. So like, with guac, like fourteen dollars, bro, for this. For paper, bro. So, this is real expensive out here. Ain't black simple, and it kind of feel like the one that I had the first time, man. My first ever journal. So, I'm going to rock out with this one. We're going to journal every day. Hopefully, y'all doing the same thing. And a year from now, we're going to check our progress. And everything we got in this journal going to be true. When I get home, I'm going to give y'all the kind of basis on how I'm going to start it off. Because I want y'all to start it out the same way. I think that would be cool. Let's do it. So, if you're watching this video, man. Make sure you go get your journal. We on this every day. Let's do it. All right, y'all. Yeah, bro. That. It's a journal, the man. reason I wanted y'all to get a brand new notebook. This shit greasy. I literally just made me some eggs. Don't See? mind me. See, I the reason one, I wanted y'all to get a brand new notebook is because on this first page, what we gonna do 
is well not on the introduction page you gotta write your name and whatnot but on this first page here what i'm gonna do and what i want y'all to do i want y'all to write down y'all top 10 goals in life or y'all top 10 goals you can think of in your head basically 10 things that you want to accomplish you feel me we're gonna put a timeline on this too let's do our six month goals you feel me so think about what you want to accomplish in six months we're gonna write in this notebook for six months straight you see what i'm saying so six month goals on this page right here put the date 10 you know what i'm saying write down your 10 goals every day when you open this it's gonna be on the front page you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be like the red car theory when you think of something and then it'll attract in your life so on this page your 10 goals gonna be here every day you look at it you feel me make sure y'all subscribe make sure y'all like make sure you click the first link in the description join ab academy appreciate y'all all right shout out to abb man that's what's up Long journey. I remember watching one of his videos. I think the first video I saw him was doing quarantine. It was like a 50, it was like a push up challenge or something. That's the first video I saw him. And to see where he at now, it's inspirational, my guy. So shout out to you. Keep doing you. Hey, our time, our, hey, our time is coming to Daydreamers. I don't know if I like that name for y'all though, but hey, look, that time is coming for us. Watch the, watch the journey. Join the community. I really want to create a strong community for all of us. And we're going to rock out. So, that being said, though, like, comment, subscribe, share. Shout out to all of y'all. It's your boy, Day. And I'm out of here. And until the next one.